Salutations everyone, this is Razor here bringing you some search and destroy gameplay on overflow using the Scorpion with dual mags and a suppressor. Ghost Black Jacket, Scavenger, Engineer, Lakadu, uh, Black Hat C4, and some kill chicks I won't get because today I'm playing some search and destroy. And I, I, if you've you know, been following me for a while, you know I am not that big of a fan of search and destroy. Um, not because of the game mode itself. I actually enjoy the game mode. I like the idea, and it's it's very intense. I haven't played much search in any of the CODs, but I've you know played it in every one. Um, and those there are some really awesome intense moments. You know, clutching it, getting aces. Um, really, the the most intense experiences you can have on COD is doing stuff like that. Um, I guess you could p compare it to like a getting Moabs or nukes or getting that that 100 kill game or that 25 kill streak or whatever. But you know, there's always that anticipation uh, of of things to happen, and search there's always exciting things that are going to happen. But uh, I gave uh, Black Ops 2 Search and Destroy a chance because, you know, I, I try to give it a, f a fair shot in each COD. Uh, you know, Modern Warfare 2 was pretty rush friendly. Uh, Black Ops was uh, okay, but everyone camped with Claymores and uh, their silent FAMASs. Um, so you, you had to counteract that. And in Modern Warfare 3, it was just total camp fest. Uh, you know, the maps didn't help. And here in Black Ops 2, Search and Destroy just comes down to everyone using MSMCs and PDWs um, with Bouncing Bettys and two Shock Charges apiece. Uh, that's just what Search is in this game. You know, I don't play every day, but uh, I, I, <laughs> I, I know how people play Search, and I know how to stab people in the back or using Assault Shields. And when I first saw the shock charge, I immediately knew, the first thought, that's going to be a huge problem in Search and Destroy. And it is, it is, for uh, uh, the few people on YouTube who actually, uh, you know, are known for posting up Search uh, gameplays, uh, they, they have expressed that shock charges are everywhere. And that's really annoying, because... I like the idea of, you know, the two bomb sites planting and the diffusing, you only have one life. I like that aspect to it, but it's the players that screw it up. And the problem with the developers, whether that, that be Infinity Ward or Treyarch, is they allow um, the players to play the certain way and encourage it. As you can see, we're down 0-2 right here. And this is not going to be a spectacular comeback, but it just goes to show how Search is played in this game. All the players camp with really strong weapons, and they use bouncing bettys and shock chargers, and they just play it the cheesiest way possible. Um, and they're rewarded for it, and it's really easy for them to do in this game because of uh, the couple strong guns in this game that completely outclass everything else. And the fact that the Bettys are OP, the, the shock charges are OP. You need to have Engineer um, in Search and Destroy to play effectively. And uh, EMP grenades and Black Hats are definitely encouraged. Watch, we get a nice little three-piece right here in Search. Pretty awesome, pretty snazzy. Uh, so there's going to be three guys left to get the triple kill. Not, you don't see that every day. And uh, there's the fourth guy. Gonna go ahead and look around. Teammates are down left and right. And there's the fifth guy. So I know this is an ace situation. I'm gonna have to pull this off somehow. Luckily, I have scavengers, so I haven't run out of ammo after killing four people already. So I know there's only one guy left. Gonna go ahead and hack that equipment right here. I think he's gonna be camping in this. Tried the C4 just to be sure. He wasn't there. Uh, so B bomb looks safe. I'm gonna go ahead and run over to A. You know, I really enjoy these type of situations. Getting an ace is pretty awesome uh, in the clutch as well. Let's go ahead and check the A bomb over here. See? Teammates are just dying left and right. I think there's only one more teammate left, and he gets taken out here pretty soon. Pick up another scavenger pack. And, uh, you know, I, I like that. Uh, 
I like the, that you're able to uh, to clutch uh, situations. That's really awesome. Uh, but but the problem is, is that you can only do so much. See, there the enemy's gone, so I have to clutch this. The bomb has been planted. So there's the grenade. Gonna go ahead and check this guy out. Just duke him like fucking Barry Sanders. There's C4 because I think he's over there. Nope. He's inaccurate, so I'm going to go ahead and take out the ace and the clutch, defusing the bomb like a boss. Plus, I got some kill streaks here going for the next round. And those instances are really awesome. I got the ace, a six man ace, and the clutch, 1v1. So that was really awesome. Uh, but. You know, those those instances happen few and far between. I understand it can't happen every game, but I like the fact that I the game allows you to have such dramatic moments uh, with those ace or and or clutch situations. Um, but the problem is, I only have one life, um, so I can only do as much as the enemy team allows me to do. If they're all camping it up, I'm not going to be able to kill all six of them. And my teammates are going to be about as useful as a dead camel. Because if, if you don't know how bad people are at playing such a silly game as Call of Duty, go ahead and play Search and Destroy. You'll get shot in the back by someone with an MSMC. And then you'll be forced to watch your random ass teammates' uh, perspective as they make stupid decision after stupid decision. It's just so frustrating that... They are so dumb, and yet they lived longer than you. So now we're down 1-3, um, but I got a, a few kill streaks to use here. And I, I'm, I have a good game going. The problem is my teammates suck, and the enemy team is camping it up and using, uh, you know, the same guns. And, you know, that is okay because, you know, we see that in so many other game modes. I'm going to go ahead and pop up my sentry gun of destruction right here. And uh, get a couple kills with that. Get shock charged. That's all right. Um, you know, we're, I'm so used to playing terrible, uh, player having terrible players on my team, and playing campy ass noobs who are head glitching, who I distract to the guardian and then put a few shots and take them out with the C4. I'm used to that in any other game mode, so that doesn't make search different. Um, but the thing is, with kill confirmed or domination, demolition, capture the flag, TDM. I can win the game all by myself uh, the majority of the time. You know, in Black Ops 2, it's a little more difficult because of the, the way that the game modes are set up and, uh, and the maps and all that stuff. So it's not as easy for me to uh, to go solo and be the sole reason my team wins as opposed to, like, the first Black Ops was uh, much easier for, for you to do that. Or even, in some cases, Modern Warfare 3. And each uh, game mode is a little different. It's kind of harder to uh, win a capture the flag game uh, all by yourself than, say, winning a domination game all by yourself if you get your kill streaks up. Uh, but uh, the thing is, in Search and Destroy, while you still can be the main reason that your team wins, um, most of the time, like almost 100% of the time, I'm going to die at least once, you know, throughout the game. You know, I'm not going to be going 14 and 0. I'll, I'll usually, I'll die in most rounds. And the problem is, I only got that one life. And while that's really cool, it's one of the good things about Search is that each life is much more important um, and more valuable because you only got the one. Uh, at the same time, I can't respawn and uh, make up for my teammates' mistakes because, you know, once you're dead, you're dead. And I realize my play style is not the best for Search and Destroy. I don't like slow-paced, you know, snail lazy ass games with all these Bettys and shock charges. I like being aggressive and I like getting up in my enemy's face, uh, jumping up in windows and taking people out. But the problem with search is uh, you're so incentivized to camp that uh, almost everybody does it. And that makes for, uh, you know, bad games. Um, so it's, it's, it's not as easy for someone to win a game all by theirself in search because you only got that one life to part with and once it's gone it's gone uh you know kill confirmed or search or uh, you know demolition uh capture the flag domination it's much easier for you to go solo and be the only person on your team that does anything and win 
uh, than it is in Search and Destroy because you only got that one life to give and you have dumbass teammates who don't realize that someone's behind them. Even though this sounds really shitty in Black Ops 2, I can still hear the guy behind him and that with that guy's uh, skill level, he was just inept in that situation. So we lose 2-4, which is rather lopsided. Even though I went 14-4, and four, which is a good showing in Search and Destroy, I think, uh, at the same time, uh, being one person and aggressive at the same time, there's you can't have as big of an impact in a Search and Destroy game as you would in most other game types. So that's uh, that's a shame, um, just because of the, the way that people play the game, as well as the, the tools that the developers gave them to become huge tools. Um, so it's a shame, different COD, same story, but um, it's not really the game mode's fault, it's just how people play it and the tools that they're given. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, comments below are always appreciated. If you want to help me out, there's some buttons that can help you do that, and I'll see you guys next time.